Hi guys, I'm Tom and I'm with Graham here, who's the Regional Sales Manager for Isuzu UK. So, Graham, tell us a yeah. bit more about the vehicle we're in and yeah, let's tell the viewers what, what we're driving. Yeah, sure. Hi there, yes, yeah, so I'm Graham Jolt, as Tom says, Regional Manager for Isuzu UK. I just come out for the morning with um, Ottervale just to do some uh, test drives of various different vehicles and right at this moment in time, we're driving an Isuzu D-Max V-Cross Automatic. Um, it's a 2023 model year vehicle. Okay, so um, so Graham, tell us a bit more about this ADAS system that yeah, is on sure. this vehicle. Yeah, sure. So, um, so the, the, all the D-Max range is fitted with a system called ADAS. Uh, and all of that combined is a, a safety system which is designed to assist uh, and protect the driver for unforeseen circumstances. So if we take it sort of to the top of the tree um, on this V-Cross Automatic, um, you've got adaptive cruise control, you've got emergency brake assistance which is standard right across the range. Um, the emergency brake assistance is basically it's not there to replace the driver but it's there to pick up unforeseen circumstances where perhaps the driver hasn't uh, reacted quick enough so for example if a child was to run out in front of the vehicle or the car in front was to brake heavy or make a sudden left turn or yeah. right turn that you weren't aware of mm -hmm. um, then the idea of the ADAS is it you know it, it makes some decisions for you if you're a bit late in reacting yeah um, and it's adjustable so you can adjust it uh, so you can have it reacting slightly closer to the vehicle in front of you, for example, or you can okay. push the vehicle further away. Just depends on the kind of uh, drop, you know, the driving scenario you're in, really. Yeah. Um, so that that system is adjustable, but it's there permanently. It's permanently live. Oh, that's good. And um, that's available in other models. Yeah. So the ADAS is on the complete range of Isuzu all the way through. Um, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems is you know what it stands for, basically. Yeah. And like I say, it's, it's there to protect the driver. Um, all these safety systems now becoming legislation um, pretty much across the whole of the automotive industry. Yeah. Um, from a pickup perspective, um, we're kind of leading the way with the stereo cameras, so that gives us a wider field of vision of things that are going on. It also allows for things like uh, traffic sign rec rec recognition. So it does pick up if you're doing, say, 70 on the motorway, and okay, then the yeah. overhead gantry is changed to 50. The vehicle can see that happening, and it'll send off a little audio ball alert to tell you um, oh, the wow, speed okay. limit's changed. Um, so I thought that might have been based more on GPS or something like that. Yeah, no, it's, it's very much a visual system, really. Um, it doesn't rely on GPS to give that information. It's, you know, it's constantly, uh, we're driving now, it's constantly re uh, reading the road. So yeah. uh, other things, for example, um, it's monitoring where I am in the white line. So if I tend to drift out towards one side, the vehicle automatically kind of pulls me and steers me back into lane. Okay, yeah. Um, that's a function that you can turn on and off because there are circumstances perhaps where you've got a trailer because you're using rear radar um, when you've got a rear, when you've got a trailer on the vehicle's also got rear, rear radars which um, uh, are there to to do the blind spot assistance on the vehicle yeah um, so you can turn off the lane keep assistance if you've got a trailer on because obviously the rear radar thinks that the trailer is a okay you know, yeah. an object uh, um, <laughs> so you know you can turn that one off that's quite a new feature so that uh, came available in 2023 um, which our um, customers, uh, through customer feedback, that's something we made changes to and improvements to. Yeah. But um, the adaptive cruise is fantastic. You know, you can set your cruise 70 miles an hour. If the car in front of you slows down, the vehicle will slow down accordingly. And it mm -hmm. does that by you know, obviously reducing the throttle, but also braking for you. Okay. Yeah. And that will the adaptive cruise will take you to a complete stationary stop, and then within a few seconds it will switch off if the car in front doesn't move off again. So okay. if you're in, say, like, you know, queuing traffic on the motorway, yeah. you know, from a fatigue point of view, it's great because you can literally take your feet off the pedals. Um, you know, once you've got used to it, it's yeah. technology <laughs> a lot of people takes a bit of getting used to, but you know, once you learn to have faith in the technology that's there, it's a really clever system. Mm. Um, and you can come to a rolling stop if, if it switches off. As the traffic moves off again, you just press resume, and off you go again. The vehicle go back at up 70 or just follow the line of traffic, but always maintain it. Um, a safe distance yeah. away from the car in front of you. No, that's really impressive, to be fair. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice feature. Yeah, 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 it's a nice feature. Yeah. Um, so it, it's generally a nice place to be. I mean, yeah. yeah, we all know pickups have got better and better over the years. I see who have always, um, you know, stay close to their roots of producing a hard-working uh, vehicle. You know, the D-Max is built from the ground up as a D-Max pickup. Yeah. Um, you know, we're not using components off of. Uh, cars, for example, we haven't got a car range, so everything that's really you know, in the truck is built for the truck. 
yeah. it's designed for it and literally yeah, built yeah, as the ground it's up. It's fit for purpose yeah. is a term we use quite often. You know, mm -hmm. it is built as a pickup, and yeah, we're probably a bit unique in, the, in that way. Yes. You know? um, and I know we're in the V Cross, and this is quite a very luxurious model and so yeah. on, but it's quite nice that all these features actually do cross over into all of the other models as well. It is, yeah. You know, even when you go down to our most basic ranges, like I say, you've got all the ADAS safety systems, which are fantastic, and certainly like the businesses and the fleets. Uh, like those because they've got a duty of care to the staff that are driving them so uh, having those safety systems there to protect your uh, staff and your occupants of the vehicles just another safety net really for yeah. any driver areas um, but you know technology wise the vehicles they all come well spec really they've all got air conditioning um, they've all got electric windows for example um, central lock-in so even our most basic vehicles got some nice driver um, you know, driver aids and driver comfort things there really. Um, yeah. Air conditioning again is standard right across the range. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, yeah, we've, we've got we've got a nice little nice little range offering there, and it's a complete range as well. So we do everything from a basic two wheel drive single cab pickup. We then go into a four wheel drive single cab, extended cab, um, and then we take us uh, into double cab then as well. Mm -hmm. So um, that's a full range of utility vehicles where a lot of manufacturers now have backed away from that marketplace. Yeah. We're very much you know, committed to that long term. Because um, that's what the vehicle's all about. You know, yes, it is. Yeah, you know, hardworking vehicles. So it starts with the most basic pickup we offer, and then obviously as you go up through the grades, you've got like your DL20, which is available mm -hmm. in extended and double cab. Okay, yeah. And then we go into uh, an ask manual and automatic transmissions available as there as well. Yeah. Um, and then we go into your DL40 again, manual and auto, uh, and then you know to the range top in V Cross that we're in today. Yeah. So with all of the vehicles, do they have they do they all have the same towing capacity and everything? Or yeah, they do. Yeah. So fundamentally, like underneath this vehicle, you know, is the same vehicle as a utility double cab. You know, the chassis, mm -hmm. the engine, the running gear, everything's the same. Um, so nothing gets softer as the range gets more sort of car-like, if you like. Yeah. Um, it's still very much a working, hard-working vehicle underneath, so the towing capacity is still three and a half ton. You've still got your payload in excess of a, a thousand kilos, or well in excess of a thousand kilos in our case. Yeah. Um, you've got one of the biggest uh, load beds in its class for D-Max, so you take mm. a full-size Euro pallet in there, no trouble at all. Yeah. Um, so one thing I do want to mention is about the is it the engine size because I know there's probably yeah. some viewers thinking yeah. that the, it's a 1.9 yeah and that might put people off because obviously bigger numbers mean more power but yeah absolutely so I see I mean we've all, I see have always kind of been quite at the front of any new technology mm -hmm. so they do tend to sort of you know, break the mold to start with so it comes as no surprise that in Europe you know even more so in the UK that the government are clamping down on emissions. Yeah. Um, and I see as you saw this coming, you know, long before it was actually, you know, coming into regulation yeah. really. So, you know, just to give you an idea, the, end, the the truck we're in currently, you can go into every low emission zone in the UK. So you can drive this oh, truck wow. into central London, um, into the ultra low emission yeah. zones, um, which you can do with some of the competitor vehicles. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Uh, but um, and we, you know, we've changed really. If you look at where the, where the ICs you pick up started, you know, perhaps in, you know, I mean, I came into the trade in sort of 1996, and we were, you know, back then we were selling like three litre rodeo, um, 2.5 as well. Yeah. Um, and then in 2012, Dmax came out. That was a 2.5 uh, twin turbo diesel. Uh, and then 2017 was where the real change happened. So, you know, we, we were told by the factory it was going to be a 1.9 and, you know, our initial reaction was yeah. probably like a lot, of the, a lot of people that, you know, are a bit sceptical of a smaller diesel engine. But the thing is, diesel engines have moved on. It doesn't matter which en uh, industry you look at, you know, whether it's like the heavy truck industry, if you look at, you know, agricultural industries, you know, some of the some of the tractors that would be four cylinders and now three cylinders, but yeah. they would put down more torque, you know, and it's very much the case with, with what we've got here. You know, it's 1.9, but the output of that engine is, you know, over and above what we had, you know, back in sort of, you know, in the late 90s and, yeah. you know, and into the 2012 era when we brought the D-Max in. So it's, um, you know, the best way to, the best thing I can say really is if you're in any doubt, go and try one. Because yeah. They, uh, they surprise a lot of people and um, certainly on a lot of the uh, forums that are out there on social media, you know, you will see people that have, 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 have you know, migrated from say like a, you know, a 2.5 diesel mm -hmm. and, you know, are now fully supportive and really defensive of the 1.9, yeah. you know, it's a good engine. <laughs> and it, I, I've got to be honest, the gearbox makes a huge difference in the D-Max range now, that six speed auto which we've got here is seamless changes. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's incredibly smooth. Um, and then, you know, in the manual, I, I'd be honest, I think in the 2.5 that we had prior to this, mm -hmm. I don't think the marry of the 2.5 engine and the, 
the gearbox we had back then was quite right. I think that the yeah. the gearing was perhaps a little bit too high on the 2.5. Okay. And they certainly addressed that in 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 the when we launched 1.9 in 2017. Um, and then that again had a revision sort of later on. Um, yeah. So the, the you know the gearbox and the engine now really do complement each other. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. So are the gear ratios the same between the automatic and the manual? Is there any difference? They're, they're different. I mean, obviously, they're, yeah, they're both six-speed uh, transmissions. So you've got six-speed manual, six-speed auto. Obviously, they vary in the ratios. Yeah. You know, totally different gearboxes and principles, really. Um, I mean, automatic is, you know, definitely by far now our best-selling vehicle. Yeah. I think people that have been traditionally manual who have, you know, you know, tried an automatic vehicle have very quickly realised that it's actually a yeah. nicer, nicer thing. And if you're towing, I mean, it's effortless. Yeah. You know, you can stop on a hill. You don't have to think about you know riding your clutch or slipping your clutch. You've got no clutch wear to worry about. Mm -hmm. And you know, bearing in mind that you can drive this like a manual as well, so you can yeah. drop down the gears like we are now. Mm -hmm. and we're selecting it third gear. We can drop it down into second gear, and equally so, you can go from first to sixth. Yeah. You know, as a manual, and you can hold it in gear, which is you know, quite nice if you're maybe off-road and you want to keep the gear in and just keep the, the, the you, know, you don't want the gearbox to change for you, you can no, hold exactly, it gear. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, I mean obviously the ranges are different but you know it's um, it's certainly... But there's a lot of benefits of why people are changing to the automatic ah, absolutely, just, yeah, yeah. It, makes, it helps with that driving experience and everything else as well yeah, for different does, tasks that yeah. you're doing with your truck. Yeah. So. And in real world, you know, when you talk about things like economy, there was a point in time where you know an automatic you know, had its disadvantages for fuel economy. Yeah. But you know, it's fair to say that you know, in the industry we're in now, like automatics, the, the gap between economy on a manual and an auto is really narrowed down. Yeah. And having had both um, as company vehicles, I've got to be honest, I find it really difficult to tell the difference between the economy on the two. Yes. You know, so uh, that will depend on largely what you're doing. I mean, if you if you've got you know three three ton, three and a half ton up behind you, mm -hmm. you know, they may both react in different ways. Yeah. But um, <laughs> you know. It's, it, it, and I, I mean that's that's the good thing about the D-Max as well. We, we've got that three and a half ton payload uh, uh, towing capacity. We've got you know a, a class leading payload. Um, you know, it's five year, hundred twenty five thousand mile bumper to bumper warranty, which is yeah. you know which is absolutely unique against mm -hmm. the competitors. Um, it does lose a lot of confidence. You don't give that warranty if you've got a product that's unreliable. No, exactly, and it's reassuring yeah. that the, it's actually the manufacturers going, yeah, we're confident in our product and yeah. everything as well. Absolutely, so. yeah, yeah. I think you know, looking back, we were the first to come out with you know a five-year, one hundred twenty-five thousand miles, so we kind of broke the broke the mold with that, really. Um, but having been involved with Isuzu yeah. um, for as long as I have, both at dealer level. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and they're working for Isuzu. Yeah, but in fairness, you know, I've been at dealer level selling all makes and models of pickups like you guys obviously yeah. do as well with your used vehicles. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it can be much less uh, biased when you're asked a genuine question about competitor products. You know, we can yeah. get a really broad overview. Mm -hmm. And the D-Max just does everything well. Yes. You know, it's no yeah, yeah. particular one thing that the D-Max excels at. It just does everything really well. Yeah. It's an all-purpose vehicle. Um, yeah, we, yeah. yeah, we're quite. Yeah, it is exactly yeah. that. It's an all-purpose vehicle, but um, you yeah, know, certainly a very pleasant place to be. It's nice and you know, it's quiet, isn't it? It's, yep, you know, definitely. Seats yep. are comfortable. It's a bit chilly outside today, so we've got heated seats on in here. You know, yeah, it's very nice. You know, <laughs> um, and you know, even comforts, things like that. You still get heated seats on the DL20 with cloth seats as well. Exactly. Yeah. So again, you know, when you go back to what we were talking about mm. just now about specifications and um, you know what you get for your money. Yeah, yes. D, D Max does offer it. And also, come another build quality is really nice as well. That yeah. like it's the nice materials that's been used. It feels very luxurious. Yeah, you yeah. Know, especially in the V Cross. Yeah, they're, 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 it's you know, I mean, it, you know, from a driver's point of view, and just a place to be, you know, creature comforts and just the materials that are used. You know, you've got nice leather seats. You've got you know, your leather cap dashboard. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your door cards and things. So, yeah, it's what you, you I guess drivers expect that when you go in yeah. top of the range. Um, but you know what I love about the brand really is just the fact that it, it's it's truck DNA. Yes. Yeah. You know, there isn't any element of a car about this. No, you know, not it's not. There's no. You know, we talked about it again just now. And, and, but yeah, you know, there are no commonality of parts from a small car in another you know, other yeah. manufacturers' ranges have got that luxury. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every, everything on here is built for the truck. Yeah. So you know, again. <laughs> Probably one of the reasons why we can offer a five-year warranty because we know that everything that's in this truck, fit into this truck, has been built for this truck. Yeah, from the ground up, it's yeah. all designed for it. Yeah, exactly, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's been great to 
have you Thank and you. to Thanks introduce us to Thanks more about the Vcross yeah. and everything. Um, yeah. If anyone's got any extra questions, anything yeah. else like that, uh, please get in contact with us. We've got all of our contact details down below. And um, yes, until next time, there we go. Thanks very much, everyone. <laughs> See ya. Cheers. Bye.